There are times when the coach has to give instructions and outline to the athlete or team exactly what is expected of them. This is particularly important when it comes to three things. Safety, time pressure and crunch points. Talk fair, good talk fair. Dribble reverse, there you go. Oh, we help you, man. Dribble, dribble, dribble. You've got to read a little bit what the first guy does, all right? Because otherwise Dylan can sit here and play the two of you. So if he chooses to stay high and pop, what should you do here? Because you just threw it to that guy. But you got to dribble it. Because if you throw it there, like we're kind of now, we've got two guys on that side with the ball, like we're a little bit, yeah, we're a little stagnant. You got to go in this dribble reverse, and he can come off, or he's going to go, and that's going to drag Kirk out of the corner. But if you throw it to him, we're kind of a little lost. We don't know what to do. All right, our motion is, our flow has been interrupted. Often the situation will dictate. You know, you're into a game, and obviously the the adrenaline's pumping. Um, at that stage, it's normally because of the length of time you have to communicate that the communication is pretty directed and so it's not so much put your arm around people it's about getting the job done and taking care of business at that particular time during practice sessions again in the team situation i think sometimes you need to be able to motivate the team and get them going or get the standard of practice up and sometimes you just need to be able to address the player individually where you don't want to call them out in front of the group and it's just i guess experience is one of those things <laughs> where you've tried it at different times and you see uh, how players have reacted or responded afterwards and that's something that you can only learn over time. I think the important thing there is that comfortable teams don't win. You know, you've got to have a bit of edge uh, within your team to, to be a winning team. Card, Jim. Played. Hold. Lead, lead. Nice. Played. Played, Jim. Lydia, we want to use the easy pass. We don't want to put it into their three-man screen. OK, let's give it to our easy guy, all right? You have to learn what they're like as a person, so there's some girls that you, you can't be hard, hard on, um, uh, otherwise they just don't respond at all and they just you know, sort of fade away to nothing. And then other girls, I have to have that hard approach to make them react to me and uh, or, or get, get, out of the, get the best out of them. All right, so a few things to, that we need to think about and we want to see it happening, okay? So we'll get... When you're doing slow stuff there, you should be getting 15 metres off the wall. When you're doing hard stuff there, you should be getting 12. Your intensity is going up. Teaching skills requires persistence and tenacity. It takes years to develop a great swimmer, years and years and years, because we're not fish. So what is that? That is training. Training your lungs that they can do work without a, getting oxygen every one. So on the easy stuff, you should be doing extended breathing so that you're building up your lung capacity. Never breathe off a push-off, never breathe off a turn, and then gradually go, I can now breathe one off the turn, two off the turn, three off the turn, without a breath. Every single push-off that you do, if you do not nail it, you can't expect that it's just going to appear in your race. You've got to make sure that you're doing it day after day after day.